everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Medley Media Podcast. I'm your host, Dash. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube content. Thank you so much. So I absolutely have the pleasure of introducing Trapway Trey. Yes, now, sir. Now I want to go ahead and get this in right because because I do have somebody special on my hands. So how you been today? I've been good. I've been doing good. Good. So glad to have you on. So I do want to go ahead and shout out your Instagram, YTN underscore Trapway. Yep, YTN underscore Trapway. And uh, I got two pages. I got a YTN underscore Trapway uh, too. That's like a little fan page for my contents and stuff like that. Okay, so definitely go ahead and and follow both. Mm-hmm. Um, so do you want to talk about your YouTube? That also is by the same name, YTN Trapway. So go ahead and just be sure to check out both while you're here. Yeah, so I do want to start with the question where you're from. I'm originally from uh Richmond, Virginia. Mm-hmm. Del Court, but I stay uh like North Carolina wise, I'm from Greensboro, East Side. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so Greensboro native. Yeah. Okay. And so do you mind telling us a little bit of how you got into music? Uh I always liked music. Like, I don't know. Uh when I was a teenager, I used to write like when I was on probation and stuff, I was uh staying with my grandma. I was on the run on probation and whatnot. And uh mm-hmm. she had like only two tapes up there. It was a uh it was a Tupac tape and a uh Biggie tape. And uh I used to listen to them tapes like every day because it was like I said, she only had two. So I used to write little rhymes, you know what I'm saying, little stuff like that, just to play with it. But uh my homeboy Loco really got me into it. Like he took me to the studio one day and I heard my voice and uh, it's been just that. Like <laughs> I've okay. been making music ever since. Okay, and so now that you are an artist, if you had a dream celebrity to make music with, who would it be? Ah uh, man, money bag yo. Uh, That's yo, my got favorite it. rapper right now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you yeah. on that. I gotta get bag on that, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and you say yo Gotti as well. Yeah, hell yeah. Why Gotti? That's big bro. That's big bro. <laughs> like, yeah, just <laughs> that's big bro. I gotta get him on there. Okay, I feel it. I respect yeah. it. Um, and so what is your favorite album of all time? I heard you say that you kinda grew up writing music about you know, listening to Pac and Biggie. So what's your favorite album of all time? Uh I think the Lil Wayne the Carter. And the Carter one. I was gonna say, you know, you gotta be specific. It's a couple yeah, of them. The okay, one. The first one. <laughs> yeah, the Carter one. Yeah, Lil Wayne, like one of my top. Yeah. Okay. My top, my top three, five, whatever. All so, right. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, who do you listen to for motivation, or like when you're not recording your own music, who do you kind of like listen to for motivation? Mm, couple guys. Uh, Money Bag Yo. I like the whole CMG Kemp. Uh, I mess with Dolph. Um, Boosie. Wayne, the old Wayne, uh, you know, I be on my, I'm from like the DMV area, so I get yeah. on my Jay-Z stuff, I get on my, all that, you know what I'm saying, uh, but yeah, like, I keep it Southern, uh, money bag, yo, Boosie, yeah. yeah. I like that same kind of flow to it, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, and so when you dropped your project last year, what was the inspiration for that? I'm talking about your Heartbreak Kid. What mm-hmm. was the inspiration for that exactly? Uh... <laughs> uh that's that's just me i don't know i'm an aquarius so my birthday february 15th so oh, okay yeah I, one of my that's crazy my best friend who was just on the podcast that's her birthday oh yeah yeah february 15th uh-huh. oh yeah she lit then yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah so you said just you being an aquarius so yeah. really based off your zodiac your feelings yeah we and... like we like the most headed on sign so i feel like i'm just that i don't know yeah i feel yeah. like everybody can get along with an aquarius yeah honestly. we cool we real cool man yeah. for real. i have we a lot of friends who are aquarius. misunderstood more so i guess okay yeah. i feel that and so if you want to touch a little bit on what was the inspiration for the title because i kind of like the title honestly the it's hbk mm-hmm. i just that i just made it short for a heartbreak kid i don't know i just had my mind set on on the on the title and mm-hmm. i wanted to do that and it was around like i was gonna drop it around like uh like i said my birthday february uh 15th i was gonna i planned on dropping on the 14th valentine's day like mm-hmm. make a little valentine's day tape or whatever but they had planned my like my plans got pushed back so okay yeah but i still released it so yeah, yeah. that's good all right. Um, and so another um, out or just another project that I want to talk about is Blue Faces. So that was just a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so are you doing an official video for that or anything? It's one up there on YouTube. Okay. Let's yeah, talk about it. Uh, 
Yeah, that's that thing hard right there, man. <laughs> everybody like that song. Yeah. Like everybody that listened to it. Yeah, I definitely had to write that one down because that was yeah. one I was feeling when yeah. I was, you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Everybody like that song. But I don't know, like, I be having little vibes and stuff and like I don't know. I be, uh little little tempos and beats or whatever and uh I had came up with it like like no cat like a dream, or whatever, and I was like just rocking to it and stuff, yeah. like blue faces, blue face and I came up with it, got it with my engineer and uh he came up with a beat for it and made that happen. Okay. Yeah. Dope. Dope. Yeah. All right, so what does the perfect day in a studio look like for you? Top uh, to bottom. Like the perfect day? Mm-hmm. Man, uh I guess me just me just vibing, you know, with my guys, with my engineer. Uh, you know, we smoking, drinking, doing what we do. Okay. Uh, and we just getting getting stuff done. You know, uh, any day you make like over three, four songs, that's a good day. So okay, yeah. that's what I'm gonna say. Do you aim how how many like do you aim to make a certain amount of songs? Yeah, or? I try to. When I get in, there, I try to you know be productive. So definitely like try to work. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I get in there. You know, I have my slow days i have some days i go in there i make like a song in like 20 30 minutes so yeah you know most days are better than others but like i try to go in there and get as much done as i can but okay. you know and are you more of like a freestyle artist or do you prefer to write yeah it? like everything everything really being freestyle like i don't know like i said i vibe when i get in the studio so like yeah everything everything i've done thus far been freestyle okay mm -hmm. Um, so I also want to talk to you about your single Pressure. It mm. is a new pressure and I saw that you saw, shot a live performance for that. How was that shooting a live performance? Oh yeah, that's dope. I love them. I love being on stage. That's dope. Yeah. But uh I was at Vino, shout out Vino's, they do it every Wednesday in uh, Greensboro off of uh Gate City Boulevard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Every Wednesday. So uh my first time going out to the little event, you know, I'm yeah. trying to show love, just showing my face, you know what I'm saying, a little promo uh, event, so went out there, you know, killed it, they loved it, you okay. know, I got a good reaction from the city, so doing it for the city, you know what I'm saying. And is that something that you want to do more, just to gain publicity yeah. and... Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, I try to lock in with all, all the guys that's doing something out the city that I feel like really, like consistent with it you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying I try to lock in with them and just make it like on some Atlanta type stuff like how the guys got it out there and you know just different places like you know okay yeah. all right and so any experiences that you think might have led you to do music like any life experiences or anything that you might want to touch on that kind of led you to do music or made you feel like music was an outlet nah not really I don't know it's just I don't really talk about nothing I ain't done. Like, I can't really cap like that. If you mm -hmm. I just talk about stuff I do, that's why all my stuff sound like trap music. Like, it's crazy because one of my homeboys like, man, you need to switch it up and talk about, I don't know, make like a little club song or female song. But like, bro, I ain't been in love in so damn long, so it's kind of hard <laughs> to make an R&B song. <laughs> yeah. Like, you feel me? So I just, I don't know. I talk about stuff I do or I seen and I've been through, but more so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's just be my influence. My, my rapping just my life what your regular lifestyle yeah yeah i live a crazy lifestyle <laughs> <laughs> okay For real yeah All right. okay so what does it mean to you to be a successful artist mm, i'm doing this to get my i got you know i got kids i got family you know mm -hmm. i'm like the in my family, in my immediate family, in my in my overall family, there's more females than males. So like in my generation, I'm like the the youngest, coolest, older, big uh, bigger cousin like type. So like I'm trying to just show my little younger cousins that's coming up to teenagers like you don't gotta sell dope. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You might not be nice in basketball. You might put a couple words together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You might even gotta do that. You might just you know mess with big cuz, got them big cuz, get us out of here. You yeah. feel me? You just be my hype man or something like you feel me like. I don't know. Just trying to make a way for my family, bro. For real, that's it. Get my mom out this shit. Like that's all that's about. Like I ain't with none of the other shit. I ain't really I ain't really about that social media shit. I don't that TikTok and dancing and shit. I don't mm -hmm. really. I let my damn music speak for itself. For real, I don't. Okay. Yeah. I know. Okay. That's what you got to do nowadays. I know the little TikTok and Instagram and going live and all that. Everybody want to see all that. I'm cool with all that too. But like, you know. Yeah, okay. it takes time. I got to warm up to that stuff. Yeah, and just touching on that as another question, how important is social media to you now that you are an artist? Oh, it's, it's important. That's why I miss my boy Melly. 
You know what I'm saying? He <laughs> like out, out of the area, I feel like he's the most professional. So I try to get with the ones like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like minded people like that. But mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's important. Okay. And as far as the artist is somebody who has people around you, how important or how is it to have a community of support or some people call it an entourage? I don't really. An entourage. Yeah. I don't know how they go because, like, right now it's just me and, my, and, and the guys that's around that's been supporting me since mm -hmm. day one. So that's good. I don't really got no entourage like that. I just call them my guys, like you know. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah, I got my own little group. Everybody got their own little group though. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> you know, know what I'm saying? The more live performances yeah. you do and stuff, you know, it's gonna <laughs> yeah. be a little crowd at first. Like you see my my guy right here, my man, Ice Boogie. He an artist himself, so yeah, he coming up to as well. So yeah. Okay. It's really just me and him, and I gotta select other few. You know what I'm saying? And like, like I said, I try to lock in with the um, like-minded artists in Greensboro locally. You know, out my city, out of Greensboro, North Carolina. But like, yeah, I got a couple guys. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And so, how important is it to be versatile as an artist, or do you think that you should just maintain to one specific flow? Oh no, I feel like it's it's, it's important to be versatile. Like you got to be different. That's why I try to stand out. Like you know, if you if people really take the time to listen to my music, like they they see it's a bigger difference. Mm -hmm. Like I'm really not like the average Greensboro NC rapper. Like I'm my it's really different. Yeah. Okay. My voice, sound, the image, everything. Like you know, I ain't trying to ride no. Atlanta wave, no Chicago drill wave, no none of that. I ain't trying to be shysty, none of that. I'm trying to be me, like for real. Okay. And Shout so, out to them guys though, for real. Yeah. yeah. And respect. But are you one of the artists that wants to travel and tour and go oh, yeah. to coast? And I done I done did little shows in uh Atlanta. I done did like two shows in Atlanta. I done did like before prior to the corona. I done did every prior like every club in Greensboro, but like uh Arizona Peaks. I don't know if you heard of that. Mm hmm yeah, they'd be doing little, they was doing little stuff out there prior to Corona, but like, yeah, I done did everything green, that's why I feel like, you know, like, it's gotta just, travel. yeah, <laughs> yeah, just gotta get out there, I'm, yeah. coronavirus, I don't wanna catch that, you know what I'm saying, I but I, I, I gotta jump out there, you know, Okay. take that risk. Definitely, definitely feel you on that. Mm -hmm. So I am gonna bring in the new segment, and it's called "Would You Rather." Mm -hmm. So these are just a series of questions, nothing too serious. It's All just right. BS <laughs> questions. All right. So just pick one, real quick, pay. So would you rather have lunch with Jay Z or Diddy? Jay Z. Okay, we are gonna come back to that. <laughs> okay. So would you have one hour in the jungle, or would you rather be stuck in a cave? One hour in the jungle, or the cave. Mm -hmm. The cave. Okay. I want to come back is it, is it like light in the cave or is it like dark? No, it's like a, I don't know. I ain't never With been in the cave. With bats and stuff because I don't yeah, want to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So would you rather time travel forward or backwards? Backwards. Backwards. Because okay. I got something to tell my younger self. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And would you rather have a million dollars now or $10,000 a year for the rest of your life? $10,000 a year for the rest of my life. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good choice. Okay. And would you rather be an R and B singer or never make music again? I'll be an R and B singer. Okay. Fuck it. Fuck it. Okay. I'll and drop last, a note for real. Okay. Sing a little note or two. Hey man, okay. we ain't gonna get that started right. <laughs> right. Okay. So the last one. Yeah. Would you rather go a day without food or your phone? Uh, mm. I can go a day without my phone. Okay. Yeah, I can go there without my phone. Day. Okay. Yeah, just one day. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that was all. Just thanks for playing. Real quick, real quick. I just want to start that segment because I feel like, you know, it's something fun. Mm -hmm. But just back on track. So, what should we expect from you next before we go? Um, I got an upcoming visual. I got a new visual dropping uh, the Tony Soprano uh, song single. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Melly. He shot that for me. But uh, that, I got a couple more singles. Um, I got a mixtape I'm going to drop probably uh, mid-summer. Okay. Late summer, the end yeah, of summer. summer but, like, late. yeah, I'm going to catch that second quarter. I'm just trying to catch every quarter. But, like, I'm just really dropping singles right now until I really get my my my, my stuff going back up how I wanted to. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's mm -hmm. dope. 
All right. Well, I do thank you so much for I joining appreciate y'all us for having today. Me, man, for it's definitely real. been dope. And I thank yeah. y'all as well for tuning in. Of course, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, all that good stuff. Shout all out that, to our sponsor. That. Shout out to Medley Media, Medley Films, Let's Medley go. Podcast, <laughs> all that. Thank y'all so much. Charlie.